What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the skills of the new hero coming this Friday in the Miracle Wishes, Faxian. And you are going to see that he is not only a great hero for PvE but for PvP also. So probably you are going to want to summon for him but be careful because probably at the end of the month we still we may have a new limited hero, okay? But if it is the case, I really do hope that they are gonna do the same thing as they did last year. I mean, give the first copy for free. This is what they did for Pauline. We had to complete a space temple and then we, we could acquire the first copy of the limited hero for free. And I really do hope that they are gonna do the same that time this year. So we are gonna talk about this legendary hero and the epic hero. And then we are gonna talk about the patch note because there, there are also interesting things inside of it so let's begin with a faction so this is a new hero legendary from the new faction, the Sagacity Alliance, a support hero with the blue mark. And he's going to be really, really strong. This is a support and he has some support skills, but maybe he's going to be able to deal some damage. Uh, did you um, did you know that? Yeah, probably you, know, you knew about that. Did you know that you could deal an insane amount of damage using Indra in the uh, weathering cost? I'm going to show that to you uh, right here, okay? This is my score. Look at that. Using Indra, I was reaching 9,600,000,000. This is crazy, isn't it? But with the new hero, you are going to be able to apply a new debuff on the boss, increasing the um, internal injury damage by 50%. Deep internal injury damage. Uh, two. This is this is so freaking great. So imagine the damage you can do with your Indra for now. It's gonna be increased by fifty percent. Awesome. So I can't wait to use the new hero with Indra and Dianmu to see the result. This is gonna be so great. Here, for example, I think I'm gonna remove that guy, replace with a new one, and then try that team. Probably I'm gonna reach the ten billion super easy, and I'm gonna be able to use that guy in another team to increase even higher my damage. So uh, let's talk about the hero, okay? We are gonna. I'm gonna give you the details. So basic attack: three stages on a single target and remove some buffs. One layer per hit, so up to three layers of buff he can remove. If he fails to remove buffs, then the la the stage deals more attack damage, okay? More internal injury damage. So he is scaling his damage over his attack. So you are gonna need some attack on him. Second skill: restores all allies HP based on his own max HP and cleans. 5 layers of dot. If the main target selected is dead, he can revive the target and increase his turn meta, um, hitting the target based on his own max HP, which is pretty nice. But you are going to see that with exclusives, that skill is going to be, be even better and mostly for PvP. Because when you read the perceive at the beginning of each wave, he is going to get some turn meta increase, such as a popper, a space, Esther. This is so freaking great because you are going to see that with an exclusive, he can increase the turn meter of your entire team yes he can so it's gonna be a hero such as a space a great one I think but you are gonna need a lot of exclusive so we are gonna talk about that a bit later so when enemies with internal injury and deep internal injury inflict debuffs to faction while he is under parry status so he has some uh, stance bar remaining there is a chance to reflect the debuff if it is not a control debuff to a random enemy. This is this is pretty interesting for PvP, right? And the chance is not affected by affected or effect resistance. So then the ultimate. Before dealing damage, there is a chance to inflict deep internal injury too, increasing the damage by 50% from the deep internal injuries. Uh, this is gonna be really, really strong in my opinion. So on all enemies, and this is an AoE, so this is great. And after that, he's gonna deal three stages of attack damage and attack internal injury damage to a single enemy with a chance to inflict an internal injury on the target for two turns. So I think that he can apply up to three layers because it's one per stage in my opinion. So let's talk about the exclusives, but already without any exclusive, he's gonna enhance the power of your Indra if you have him and if you have Dian Mu. So really interesting without exclusive, but let's talk about the exclusive. So the level one, it's on the ultimate. He's gonna deal one more stage of damage, so more da damage and an extra layer of internal injury 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 and I guess after he does that he is gonna trigger the internal injury up to six layers on the target and I think that here with that skill if he has a lot of attack and mastery he 
he's gonna be able to deal a lot of damage using the ultimate especially if he can apply the deep internal injury too on enemies before dealing damage so i think he's gonna be a decent uh, damage dealer pair to indra imagine the damage you are gonna do with the team Exclusive level 2. For every one ally excluding himself from the same faction deployed, he's gonna have even more turn meta at the beginning of the wave. So if you are using him with Indra and Dianmu for example, you are gonna have more turn meta, you can increase your turn meta, then Dianmu is gonna take the turn because you want to play her with a lot of speed, and so she can uh, stun enemies and apply some uh, thunderstorm on them, and then your Indra can one shot one enemy. This is gonna be great, but be careful because Indra cannot one-shot an enemy if you have Nicolas Exclusive 3 in the team. It's gonna proc the apple and also he can't one-shot Donald Rebelly, so you have to think about something else maybe. But the combination of this guy and Dianmu might be really strong in PvP. Also grants all allies Resolute 2 for one turn before he casts active skills each time. And this is gonna be so great, Resolute 2 increases your uh, skill damage by 40% on your entire team. Really nice, isn't it? And so the level 3 exclusive is the best one. A Divine Lotus Light, so it is the first active skill, after it is cast increases all allies turn meta. For every one ally of the same faction, additionally increases all allies turn meta. So it might be really strong. I don't we don't have the coefficient yet, so we don't know how much he's gonna boost the turn meta of your heroes. Uh, but it's promising, isn't it? So really do like this hero. I think he's gonna be a game changer in PvP and in PvE if you already have Indra and Dianmu. So let's talk about uh, the epic one Moro. Same faction, a defense unit with the green mark. Um, that one is gonna be interesting, I think, and an interesting support, especially early game, because he can apply HP up one, increasing your overall HP by 25% for two turns using the first active skill here. And if you have three or more heroes from the same faction in your team, you are also gonna uh, give them defensive stance one for two turns. I think, if I remember correctly, defensive stance one uh, lowers the stance that you are losing on your hero by 20%. I think this is how it works. So on the basic attack, he's gonna deal some defense damage on one enemy with a chance to inflict provoke for one turn. And if he has a taunt, it's gonna increase the chance to provoke the target, okay? He can apply the taunt and normally with the ultimate, I think. I don't remember. Uh, so let's read the passive. All damage dealt by Moro is calculated on his defense and when he enters the fight he's gonna increase the max HP based on his initial defense and for every one hero from the same faction he this effect is gonna be increased by 10% so the max defense you have on the hero the max damage and also the maximum the HP you are gonna have on the hero on the ultimate he's gonna attack all enemies with the chance to inflict one internal injury for two turns on all enemies pretty interesting and after that he's gonna deal some defense damage and defense internal injury damage to all enemies for every one internal injury owned by the target he's gonna deal more defense internal injury damage so it's pretty interesting but uh, where is the taunt yeah, that, that was on the first skill. He can gain the taunt on the first skill for one turn. Sorry, my bad. So, with the first exclusive, the taunt duration is going to be increased by one turn. So, it's going to last two turns instead of one. Uh, with the exclusive 2, uh, it's uh, upgrading the passive. For everyone, a hero from the same faction deployed, he is going to have a 15% bonus instead of 10%. If you have 4 heroes or 5 heroes from the same faction, you are going to increase uh, that bonus to 20% uh, instead. And the level 3 exclusive, uh, so it's only the ultimate, when internal injury is inflicted successfully, he is gonna apply deep internal injury 1, increasing the damage of the uh, internal injury by 25%. 
which is pretty nice. This is an epic hero. So if you can't get the new legendary hero, if you have that one exclusive three, you are still gonna increase your damage with Indra. So it's pretty interesting, and also you are gonna be more tanky because you are gonna have more HP, and he provides a taunt. He is a tank, so he's gonna have a lot of defense, and maybe he's gonna deal a lot of damage based on his defense, right? I don't know. We will have to try that, but he is another promising hero. This is an epic one. Great, I think, for early game. And maybe in the faction to be more tanky. So, uh, now let's go back to the game. And let's talk about... Uh, the features, adjustments, we are going to have this Thursday. So, first of all, first of all, <clears throat> I don't know exactly what it is going to be. So, if I understood correctly, in the Endless Cloister, they are going to change many things. You have some keys, as you can see on, above the screen here in the top right corner. Well, I have 110 keys. Before, you had to finish a fight in order to acquire a blessing, right? A, a card blessing. That time, you are going to be able, I think, through a market. I don't know if it is going to be in this market or in another specific from the uh, for the Endless Cloister. But with the the keys you are going to be able to use the, the keys in order to buy uh, some blessings so it's going to be faster normally to acquire buffs to do your fight so i think this is going to be way better then they are talking about the championship today we have two divisions only in the championship the recent servers are in the novice championship and the others are in the classic championship they are going to divide the championship into four divisions after this Thursday. The first one, the novice division, if the server you are in uh, uh, have been released less than one month ago, okay? The trial division uh, from one month to three months and the master division from four to six months and then above six months you are going to be in the ultimate division. Pretty interesting for many players, okay? So you are going to have more divisions and so uh, if you have only a bit more than one month uh, of playing in the game, then you are not going to face uh, the top Krakens in the game. This is, uh, this is going to be encouraging for you. Then they are going to add an easy mode to the Broken Land. You are going to have to take all the uh, towers take all the towers and then you're going to unlock the hard mode. With I think the hard mode is going to be the same as today. Uh, and you are going to have different rankings dif depending on the mode you are going to be in. So the normal mode, the easy mode and the hard mode, sorry. Uh, then they are going to add a list to the uh, wishes um, to, to have a look directly to the most popular heroes. You are going to have some rates on heroes on their usage in specific contents, etc. So why not? It can help to have a, a look to the hero you just pulled, just to know if it is a good hero, if it is used or not. So it can be interesting or disappointing if you pull only bad heroes, right? <laughs> so. They optimized rules for the Endless Cloister, so I guess that they are going to reopen it this Thursday, who knows, we are going to see. Um, adjusted rules for Divine Power to take effect, you can have only three different types of buffs, so this is the uh, symbols you could see before, the horse and other stuff. But I think they changed that because before you could take um, some cards from other buffs, it, it didn't matter the category, um, and you had the effects, but that time they are saying that only three divine powers, so the horse, etc., uh, can be activated in each session, so can their card effects and set effects. So I think that you are going to be forced to buy only cards from the uh, three categories you have during the session if you want to have some buffs, otherwise it's not going to work. I think this is going to be this, that. It's going to be, it's going to work that time. But I t I'm taking it as a kind of nerf uh, to your possibilities because there are many cards that are really useful and if that means that you are not going to be able to take advantage of the entire card base, uh, maybe it's going to be a bit harder to clear the contents, right? I don't know yet if it is the case, if this is going to be what is going to change, I don't know, we are going to have to wait and see. So, no Divine Power cards will be dropped after the stage clearance anymore because you have the keys and you can buy uh, blessings with the keys directly, okay? Uh, then, the multi-battles in the Endless Cloister are going to be available 
offline and this is gonna be better than before you can close the game and then you can do your multi battles such as uh, you are, when you are doing your multi battles in the dwarven ruins or the faction abyss or the emblem challenge so it's pretty interesting i love that because it was taking a lot of time to do your multi battles before in the end there's cloister and so you had to keep the game uh, on and yeah if you were playing on your phone it was uh, pumping all the battery so okay then they added a quick upgrade button to the talents. So it is gonna be great because if you want to reset everything, it's gonna be way faster than before to upgrade everything. Because if I reset today, I have to click 30 times here and wait for the delay every time between each click. And this is taking a freaking huge amount of time if you want to reset everything. So it is going to be great to have a quick upgrade. I think you are going to have to quick uh, to click somewhere and select the level you want to put in or increase five levels by five. I don't know yet. There is no details in the in the patch note. Optimized Elemental City rules. So if we go on the Elemental City, uh, they are going to add... Um, a display of special stages clearing status to the main screen. So I think that does mean this is the special stage, stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think uh, they are gonna put something, maybe an icon to check uh, the if you cleared or not the stage already. So for example, if I cleared the stage 1, 1 2, 3, 4, uh, maybe you're gonna have a check here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the, the S5, for example, is gonna be missing, something like that, or with a cross, who knows? I think this is gonna be something like that. And then optimized display rules of current location on the main screen. Uh, I think uh, they are pro for example if I'm on the last stage on the stage 15 if I go back to the common stage they are gonna uh, put some something uh, right here something around this corner to in to, to tell you that you are currently on the stage 15 hard I think this is gonna be that then um, added buttons to check guild rankings to recruit ch channel and the main screen of the guild okay so in the guild here somewhere around here and in the chat on the recruit i don't know what it is going to be for now uh, optimize the player info rules they are going to optimize the champion display of championship your fair arena and i think this is going to be on your profile um, about game, yeah, on your profile, something uh, around uh, here. Hardworking, shit talking, the bestest baguette IMA player. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't see that before. Okay. I did the ranking display for Fair Arena on the profile, I think, and change the sorting button to filter button in the hero bag. Okay, in the hero bag right here. Okay, so that was all for the news. I hope you enjoyed the video. This weekend, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna summon because as you can see, I have 76. And last time on Jingle Bell, I was close to get another PD. So at least I'm gonna put pull the first PD. I'm gonna check who I'm gonna have. And depending on the hero I'm gonna have, if I have the new one, maybe I'm gonna uh, try to summon another PD, trying to get Adeline because I still want her for the weathering cost. Or maybe I'm gonna stay reasonable and keep my summons for the limited hero. But at least I want the new hero faction on the new fact in the new faction. So that was all for the video. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.